everyone. Welcome to another EdTech Tool video overview. Today's screencast, we're going to be looking at InkleWriter, which is a tool where you can create interactive stories. So kind of like choose your own adventure fun. So let's get to it and dive in. When you are ready to begin writing, you're going to kind of come to your storyboard page. That's kind of what I call this page because this is where all your writing will happen. Now remember we're creating interactive story where we want our readers of uh, our stories to be able to make choices. Um, so we're going to write a really quick story. It's not going to be anything super high quality. I just want to show you the tool. Uh, so we're going to call our story The Two Doors. Alright, we can put our name in there. This is by Mr. Marty. Alright, so now this is our first section. Now we start writing our story. Alright, once upon a time, uh, you come upon two doors at the end of a hall. There is a, there is a red door and a green door. Which door do you choose to go through? All right, boom, we've started our story. We've given our reader a chance to make a choice. Now, when you get to that point, you're going to hit this Add Option. So once again in our story, the whoever is reading this has come to two different tours. doors. They can pick the red door. They need another option. They can pick the green door. Now, you notice a few different things happen here. All right, you see a, a red comes up that it says two loose ends. That means we haven't ended these tracks. Remember, this is a choose your own adventure. So it's kind of a tricky piece to try to get it all figured out. But this tool does a nice job of going, OK, you haven't finished writing on red door or green door. And if I added more options, I can keep adding options uh, if I wanted to add three doors, four doors, or whatever. But I'm going to keep it really simple here. All right. So in our story, boom, we've come to a red door. All right, so now I click on this, and you can see, boom, I can start writing. Well, what's going to happen if the person chooses the red door? All right, so uh, you open the red door, and behind it is a dark and spooky forest. All right, what do you do? All right, boom, I can add some options. Uh, we're going to put go through the door. There's your first option. Uh, let's add another option. Uh, let's say you run away back home. All right, we're going to end that one. So once again, uh, I'm linked here. You can see how everything is kind of linked together. So now I've chosen the red door option. And now I've made a couple of other choices. So I'm going to go, OK, if you run away back home, uh, you get home safely. Oop, I can't spell. And um, have dinner. Perfect. I want it to be simple. And then I can click End. That means that, boom, this track is already done. So now we've got one end or one um, part of the story finished. So we can kind of go back and start to work on other stories. So if I want to start closing these options, I can go back. You can see that that boom right there, I have a red. All right, it's kind of filled in. That means that I've already written on that. Um, you can see I still need to figure out, well, what's going to happen if they decide to go into the spooky forest? And I could add an option there. But I can go all the way back to my start because I have not done, OK, what's going to be behind the green door? So let's say if you go behind the green door, um, you open the green door and find a land full of, uh, let's just see, I think I'm going to make it even simpler, and find it is just a closet full of clothes. All right, uh, you go home and read a book. Like I said, my story's not going to be the greatest. Boom, I've ended that kind of that track now, and I can go back. So you can see I'm starting to make tracks. So now if my reader chooses red door, 
It's going to be a dark and spooky forest, and then they're going to get two more options. I finished off one option. I would still need to go and finish off the other. If they chose the green door, uh, it's just going to be a closet, and they decide to go home. But another thing we could do then is link it back. So it's a closet full of, of clothes. Uh, so we'll add you step back and look at the red door with curious eyes. What do you do? All right, so let's add another option. Uh, you open the, the red door. Or another option, we'll just have you go home. All right, now we've already kind of written all about what will happen if you open the red door. So instead of writing that all back, what I'm going to do here is I can join to an existing paragraph. Here's all of our other paragraphs. So look it, you open the red door, boom. Now it already links that back to what we've already written about what your choices would be if you opened the red door pretty cool um, and, and pretty easy to work with. Um, so you can kind of see if I want to go all the way back now, boom, I'm looking at my story. Um, if I look at red door, uh, it says I have one link, one loose end because we haven't really talked about what's going to happen if they actually go into that dark and spooky forest, um, but we have everything else kind of done. Another kind of cool feature is that you can um, add a few images to kind of spice up your story. And in a moment, we'll kind of look at what the story is going to look like when we're all done. Um, but let's say I wanted to kind of give a little visual of a red door here. So I click into red door, and I'm going to hit insert an image. Now you have to find the web address of your image. So I searched uh, red door. Uh, we're going to go down, and you're going to um, click on the link that says copy image address. Go back to Inkle Writer, paste that in there. There's my picture. Boom, and I throw that in there. So now when they see this, boom, they see the red door. Maybe I want to put a picture of a spooky forest instead. It's up to you, and it just adds a little bit of flavor to your stories um, to continue to keep them interactive. All right, let's bring this all the way back. Um, some other cool features up at the top. Uh, you can see you have your map. Boom, you can hit, it's almost like a mind map, so you can see where your story goes, where it comes back together. Um, this is a very useful tool when you get lots of story tracks going on. Um, and then you also have your contents, where you can jump to a certain section um, that, that you might know. All right, now let's take a look at what is it going to look like on the other end when it's shared, when people are reading our story, because it's going to look a little bit different than this. All right, So I can go up to this read option, um, and it'll kind of show you what other people will see. So here you go, we have our title, uh, we have who it is, and now here we go. Once upon a time, you come upon two doors. At the end of the hall, there's a red door and a green door. Which door do you choose? There are my two options. You can see I can highlight over each one um, and click. Maybe I pick the red door. There my image comes in and the story continues. You open the red door and behind it is a dark and spooky forest. What do you do? Uh, remember we don't have this one done so I'm not going to click on it. I run away back home. You get back home and s or you get home safely and have dinner. Boom. My story is over. But people can also go back all the way back to the beginning as kids like to do and try other routes um, and read the story over and over and over again which is pretty cool um, to not only have fun on the writing side but then to be able to share it with classmates and other people um, who, who can enjoy reading it at the same time is pretty engaging uh, and pretty powerful. Now if we want to get back and uh, go back to writing we just click on write again we're back on our our kind of little spot here for our storyboard section uh, so we can continue to write. Uh, the last thing I'm going to show you is the share button so you can share your story. Once again you just hit the share you're gonna get a great link. Alright I can copy that link and let's see if I paste that link in there. Boom there is our story on the web uh, for others to enjoy. So that is Inkle Writer kind of in a nutshell. Um, I know that they are trying as a company to get some stories. One of their uh, examples that they have is actually a, um, a, a Sherlock's Holmes story. And I know they have a Frankenstein one as well. Um, but it's kind of a very interesting tool for you to play around with and write with. Um, I know the students in my class have been loving it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me 
or hit me up on Twitter, and uh, good luck out there getting tech into your classrooms.